Uh, welcome to the program, our friend Lisa from the Austin Humane Society. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to Lisa, see you. Lisa, I'm so you. distracted this morning because you brought in the most gorgeous baby ever. I know. Is it, this is Sasha? Yes, yeah, Sasha. She's uh, about two Sasha, and a half years buddy, old. Come oh, here. I know. She is beautiful. And she will win anyone's heart just as quickly as she She's, has won yours. Oh, my God. I've been sitting on the floor with her since you walked in, and she is just absolutely gorgeous and calm. Right. And quiet. Very right. quiet. I was going to say. I was Very about, sweet. I was literally about to say, you didn't bring a dog today. <laughs> right. I have not, she's been hanging out over there. I have not seen the dog. She's a, a little pit mix by the looks of it. She is. Oh. She's a, a red, they call them, she red nose pit or something. Yeah, red nose pit mix. She's. Um, but she's beautiful. T- she's small too. Is she probably under 50 pounds or around She's that? probably right around, right around 50. like 45, 50. That's a nice size for a dog. Mm. And you know she loves swimming. We've got some, does she? Yeah, we've got some really great pictures of her. She's she's a, actually right now she's living in a foster home. She's oh, great. not Able to live in the shelter because she's just stressed too, out. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's hard in there. Place. Yeah, it is. All the noise and the smells, and she yeah. seems like she's kind of a shy girl too. She is, but uh, she's really coming out of her shell. She's in her foster home. She's with two other dogs. So so she's good someone, with other dogs. Mm-hmm. If you have a dog and mm-hmm. you need a companion, mm-hmm. I think she would be a good companion for Blue. She's a little. A little smaller, which is good. Right. You don't need. I don't need another one his size at home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when Brody kicks the bucket, uh, if she's still available. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure Brody's going to be. Uh, he's he's got plenty of good years left. This guy's going to hang around right. for the longest time, peeing <laughs> on the floor all over the place. <laughs> Do you guys have a lot of uh, dogs like in foster homes like that? Uh, how common is that? We have a. Uh, we do. We have quite a, quite a few, but um, it, it's. It's more common that we want to keep them in the shelter if we can because uh-huh. they'll get adopted more quickly because right. people can see them. Right. right. Um, but she is on the website, and any dog that we have in foster is on the website. And um, we can make arrangements for folks to come in and see them. And so um, we really want to provide that for the dogs when they are stressed out, when they yeah. or they need special medical care. So mm-hmm. um, a lot of dogs are going through heartworm treatment. In oh, they homes. need to be completely still for that, don't they? Right. Did right. you know this? No exercise at all if they're on that heartworm mm-hmm. treatment. It's kind of sad, but yeah, it's. it's- it's the best for them. It's only a couple months. My though. dog is on a six-year heartworm treatment plan. Actually, that's it's called thing. Jason's legacy. <laughs> I'm on a heartworm treatment plan too. So, uh, how can uh, people, if they want to see the dog or see any of the dogs and cats, how do they find you guys? Really want folks to come by the shelter. We're on the 183 North Service Road between I-35 and Lamar. Um, but start by our website. AustinHumaneSociety.org. We'll link it today, and we'll link um, Sasha's info too. And you know, another quick thing. I know we're running out of time here, but you always need volunteers, right? Absolutely. Um, you can email our volunteer coordinator.